I did my presentation on the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers were originally founded in 1919, and they joined the American Professional Football Association in 1921, which is now known as the NFL or National Football League. They are the only publicly owned team in the NFL, and they won the first two Super Bowls in 1967 and 1968, both of which were led by head coach Vince Lombardi and future Hall of Famer Bart Starr. In 1992, the Packers made one of the best trades in NFL history where they sent a first round draft pick to the Falcons for a future Hall of Famer Brett Favre. And then in 1993, Leroy Butler invented the infamous Lambeau Leap. So, Packers have a few limitations. So, they only play one abbreviated season per year. The weather in Green Bay can sometimes drop down to below zero degrees, and this can be a limitation because it can be a hazard for fans to get to the games. And the Packers are also located in a city which can be considered as a small market team, so it can sometimes make it difficult to sign big name free agents in the off season. The Green Bay Packers, like I said, are the only publicly owned team in the NFL. Their headquarters is located in downtown Green Bay. And one of the Packers' main priorities is effective communication between their employees and their consumers. And they have many ways to contact their staff about ticket sales, pro shop information, and game day operations, and much more. So a few company officers. So their CEO is Mark Murphy. Ed Paul sees their COO and general counsel. Paul Baniel is the VP of Finance and Administration. Craig Benzel is the VP of Sales and Business Development. Uh, Gabrielle Valdez now is uh, the VP of Marketing and Fan Engagement. Nicole Lesnina is the VP of Human Resources. And Jason Wallers is the VP of Communications. So the scope of work, so the Green Bay Packers provide many services to their, concern, to their consumers such as entertainment, game day operations, and uh, tours of Lambeau Field and the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame. And some game day uh, operations, uh, the services that they provide are ticket sales, security, and concessions. And then some more scope of work, so there are many positions that work behind the scenes uh, that should get more recognition in my eyes, such as national scouts, college scouts, the CEO, and general managers. And scouts should get more recognition because they work together with, with the team and the coaching staff to ensure that the Packers have the best season possible. So, and the company foundation so, the Green Bay Packers Foundation was founded in 1986 by Judge Robert J. Perrins, and they focus on giving back to the community, such as helping local elders, assisting the homeless, and fighting against hunger in the United States, and that's just a few of the things that they do. So, Green Bay Packers are in the sporting industry, and in the sporting industry, there are three different industries. There's public, Nonprofit and commercial. The Packers are in all three of these industries because they are publicly owned. Every NFL team is considered to be a nonprofit, and they're commercial because they provide entertainment and sell their own sporting goods. The, the webpage, the Green Bay Packers webpage, has a relatively basic design, but they still find ways to bring out their vibrant color scheme throughout the website. And the website does a very good job of reporting recent news, such as game highlights, free agent signings, and even reports about who they might take in the upcoming draft. The website is also very easy to navigate, so you can find what you're looking for very quickly. And they have, the Green Packers have 31 competitors in the NFL, but there are, are three who are considered to be rivals, and that is the Detroit Lions, Minnesota Vikings, and the Chicago Bears. They also compete with all college football programs in the state of Wisconsin, and they're competitors because if some people prefer to watch college football than the NFL, 
that could lead to a decrease in revenue for the Packers. And the business position. So the Packers, they don't really have a niche position. This is because the Packers have a long history of being in the NFL and are one of the most respectable teams. And uh, compared to most of the league, the Packers are a dominant market. But there's one team that doesn't really see them as a dominant market, and that is the Dallas Cowboys. And that's because over the years, the Cowboys have earned the title of being, quote-unquote, America's team. Industry growth. So the popularity of football is always increasing, which can be caused by an increase in people watching NFL games or going to games, increasing kids playing football from a young age, then increasing teams who interact with kids through the game of football via projects like Project Play 60. Organizational growth. The Green Bay Packers have consistently increased in popularity throughout the past few years, both on and off the field. And one thing that they do off the field is uh, they have some big charity event every year called the Green and Gold Charity Softball Game, where all the proceeds generated from ticket sales, concessions, everything to do with that event, go towards charities all across Wisconsin. Another tradition that takes place at the beginning of training camp is where they will ride a local kid's bike from Lambeau Field to their practice facility. And the structure of the Packers. So the, Packer, the Packers are structured in two different ways, the geographical area and market. The Packers are structured by geographical area because they're a local organization and they are solely based out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, nowhere else. And they're also structured by market because they have one target market and that just consists of Green Bay Packers fans because you will never see one of their division rivals wearing Green Bay Packers gear. So the, the department that I'm interested in, I want to work in the player personnel department. And this department interests me because I've always been a fan of watching the NFL draft. And uh, I would like to see what goes on behind the scenes when preparing for that day. And, uh, I'm also interested in what teams do during free agency, such as like, what players they can afford and who would be a good fit, what positions they need the most. So the position of interest, I want to be a college scout for the Green Bay Packers. As a college scout, my job would be travel all around the country watching players who, would, who could potentially fit, be a good fit for our organization. Another job of mine would be travel to events such as the NFL Combine and the College Senior Bowl and for the scout players that we have already watched all season just to get a better idea of what kind of player they are and what kind of person they are. So the qualifications needed for this position, so a bachelor's degree in sport management or any related field is recommended but not required for this position. And although a bachelor's degree isn't required. It is required to have a high IQ in football. That way you know what to look for in players and what's good, what's bad. So a little personal background. I graduated from Fairfield High School in Fairfield, Ohio. I graduated with cum laude in 2018. I am on the men's golf team here at the Mount. I'm a sport management major. And I've been a fan of football my entire life and I've always enjoyed watching the NFL Draft, NFL Combine, the Senior Bowl, and other events like that. So in conclusion, the career that I want to pursue once I graduate from the Mount is college scouting. And I'm interested in this position because I love football and the Green Bay Packers. And I'm a sport management major because this will ensure that I'm as qualified as possible for this position. Thank you.